The Kardashian family have always been famous for the wrong reasons. In the 90s, famous football player OJ Simpson was going through a messy divorce after splitting from his wife Nicole Brown. The Kardashian family and the Simpson family were apparently close, with Kim's mother, Kris Jenner, apparently even being a close personal friend of OJ's murdered wife, Nicole. In fact, one of her other daughters, Kim's half-sister, Kendall Jenner's middle name is Nicole, a name apparently given to honor OJ's fallen wife. I mean, if only she'd have got OJ a Pepsi, maybe none of this would have ever happened. But anywho, after Nicole Brown and Ron Goldman were brutally stabbed to death outside her home in 1994, OJ Simpson would be named as the prime suspect, later being found responsible for the killings in civil court, as well as writing the suspiciously titled tell-all book, If I Did It. Despite the widespread belief that OJ did indeed do it, Kim's father, Robert Kardashian, along with a crew of top lawyers known as the Dream Team, would make OJ's dream come true, helping him beat this double murder charge in criminal court, setting OJ free and leaving him ample time to hunt down the real killer. Any day now. Now, Robert Kardashian's role in setting O.J. Simpson free was the first major claim to fame for the Kardashian family. And as a result, O.J. Simpson and his legacy would play a massive part in the Kardashian children's lives. Hell, apparently in the lead up to the trial, O.J. Simpson was about to blow his brains out in Kim Kardashian's childhood bedroom. O.J. was sitting right where you are, Barbara. But I also saw, wrapped in a towel, a gun. I said, O.J., I, I could never walk in this room. My daughter couldn't sleep in this bed. She'd know what happened here. In fact, many years later, Kim and her sisters would even run into OJ at the VIP section of a Miami nightclub, apparently bringing the Kardashian girls to tears. Crying, I assume, over news that he still hadn't found the real killers. Keep, keep searching, OJ. In fact, according to this same USA Today article, Kim would also say that her and her sisters vowed never to discuss OJ out of respect for his children, whom they apparently were close to before their mother was murdered. In fact, being the children of a rich and famous murder getter offer would see Kim and her sisters socializing in exclusive circles. And eventually her second claim to fame after nearly having her baby crib decorated with OJ's brains would be her famous friends. During the time that she was dating Ray J, she would forge a close and well-publicized friendship with fellow talentless socialite Paris Hilton. Kim and Paris were the LA it girls before social media was even a thing. Kim would become Paris's stylist around 2003, famously appearing in an episode of The Simple Life rearranging Paris's wardrobe, and the talentless two would travel the world together, I imagine bonding over their shared love of expensive things. Well, it would turn out that Kim and Paris actually had one talent in common, because apart from being the great granddaughter of the founder of a washed hotel brand, Paris Hilton had come on her back. Sorry, I mean Paris Hilton had come up off the back of a home movie herself. The infamous One Night in Paris tape. And the infamy gained from her appearance in this steamy but ultimately unsatisfying on-camera romp catapulted the middling model to sizzling stardom. Her reality TV series The Simple Life soon followed, with ratings supercharged by Paris Hilton's new image as the sexy socialite from the tape. And from here, her career would go from strength to strength. And it was during these years of Paris Hilton's cum-based come-up that she would be closest to Kim Kardashian. And ultimately, Kim would end up following in Paris's sticky footsteps, replicating the Paris Hilton rise to fame to a T. As despite spending numerous years denying its very existence, in March 2007, Kim and Ray J's home movie would release to Jack Shacks all over America under the title Kim Kardashian Superstar. The distributor of the tape Vivid Entertainment had allegedly paid an unnamed party $1 million for a copy of this tape with some rumors even circulating that the very person who leaked this tape was Kim Kardashian's own mother, Kris Jenner, who legend has it had masterminded a master plan for Kim to achieve fame in the same way that Paris Hilton did. Now, for the record, and so that I don't get sued, these allegations have been denied by the Kardashian family and their representatives. However, Kim would later joke about her own mother planning her sex tapes release in her 2021 Saturday Night Live monologue. I mean, actually, I only had that one movie come out and no one told me it was even premiering. It must have Slip my mom's mind. Now, according to numerous reports, following the release of the tape, Kim would allegedly cut a sweet deal with Vivid Entertainment to allow the film's distribution to continue in exchange for a $5 million settlement, with reports surfacing in 2022 that suggested that she had made as much as $20 million from this tape alone. And like clockwork, only a few months after that tape's release, in October 2007, the family-led reality show Keeping Up With The Kardashians would debut on the E! Entertainment Network. And so, after a very slippery come up, the Kardashian clan would spend the following years blurring the lines between reality and reality TV, doing anything they could to cultivate a spectacle around their family, and living a lifestyle synonymous with the idea of famous just for being famous. None of them particularly talented, but one does have to admire the innate talent of being able to spin so much out of essentially nothing. 
If those reports are to be believed, Kris Jenner really did mastermind an empire off of her daughter's back. I mean, off the back of her daughter's sex tape and failed marriage with a famous body beater. In many ways, Kris Jenner is truly the most talented pimp and gangster that the reality TV game has ever seen. But while the Kardashian family took their first steps towards cultural infamy, Kanye West would be building his reputation in the complete opposite way. Because in stark contrast to the Kardashians, capitalizing off their father's famous lack of integrity, Kanye West was raised by a humble mother of the utmost integrity. And starting out from absolutely nothing, he would build his career off of the back of pure talent and hard work, making a name for himself by creating brilliant and original music, using his songs to preach the values he was taught that resonated to the masses. Music which sadly today seems a million miles away from the fame-hungry media spectacle that his family would eventually become.